Before understanding heart failure, let us understand the normal function of the heart. So basically our body continuously need oxygen and nutrients and our heart's job to supply that oxygen and nutrients continuously to the vital organs of the body. Every minute almost 5 to 6 liter of oxygen or pure blood is reaching to the vital organs of the body with the speed of 80 heart rate per minute and with the blood pressure of 120 by 80. So that are the normal parameters of normal heart and because of that only we can maintain our day to day activities. This heart muscles get weak or the heart function reduces and because of that the heart could not eject enough oxygen and nutrients to the body and because of that we get lot of symptoms about heart failure. Whenever any patient have any blockages in their arteries and if they have myocardial infraction or any valvular heart disease like any, any stenosis or regurgitant lesions in heart valves may lead to heart failure too. Apart from that, there are so many rare causes of heart failure are there which could be diagnosed on investigations like 2D echo or cardiac MRI. Symptoms of heart failure then predominantly it is shortness of breath, then patient might have chest pain, they have some fatigability and dizziness, they might have abdominal pain and indigestion, constipations. Also in advanced cases of heart failure, patients start developing edema on the feet and accumulation of a fluid in their abdomen that is called ascites. So as I discussed heart failure is a very serious disease and we have to treat these patients very vigorously. Whenever someone is diagnosed with heart failure then we have to start medications as early as possible to stop the progress of heart failure. In case of advanced heart failure where all the medical treatment or any surgical therapy is not helpful then there are two options available for the patients. One is heart transplant. In this surgery we replace the disease failed heart with a normally functioning heart from the brain dead patient. And another option is ALVED also called artificial heart. In so many patients, the heart transplant is not possible or patient is in ICU where the availability of a heart is an issue. In these cases, we have to use this artificial heart or ALVED. It is a small machine which lies in our heart itself and which works like a heart. So that is readily available in India and whenever the patient is not fit for the heart transplant or if patient heart is the issue. If any patient is diagnosed with heart failure, they must see their appropriate cardiology or cardiac surgeon doctors and they must follow all instructions regarding diet, the fluid intact, their medicines and if required they must understand in well advance about heart transplant and ALVED implantation.